Hey there, YouTube. It's Matt Bowler with my bi-monthly TTM recap. This will be actually broken into two separate videos. <laughs> Something I said I wouldn't do because I always have so much content. and uh, But I'm, I have to do it. I had, for March and April of 2020, a total of 124 autographs come back through the mail. And... You know, with the way the, you know, the health situation worked out, I mean, I really front-loaded the beginning of March and really back-loaded the end of April. So, I have so many autographs. I'm breaking up into two videos just because I really think it's the right thing to do. I was excited for the January-February TTM video because I cracked exactly 100 autographs, and here I am at 124. So, I'm going to show you this video with my March autographs. So in the background here, I have a total of 74 autographs to show you. The other 50 autographs will be my next weekend video, which will be the April TTM. So yeah, I'm going to go within the order with which I received them, the exact order with which I received them for March of 2020. Next weekend, I will show or you my April 2020 video. So I will let you know if I sent a donation, uh, if they were if they were 60 days or longer, I'll let you know that as well. My addresses came from scnsportscollectors.net and SCF Sports Card Forum. So feel free to check those out, but please do not ask me for addresses because they are so easily available. The one website SCF is free, and the other website SCN is only 15 bucks a month and I think that one's a little bit better. All right, here we go. So starting off, I got two of two from former pirate Parker Markell. So I wanted to get him and you know, this was during spring training. So I sent him two cards and they came back. I didn't send out much for spring training. I usually don't and obviously once the situation hit, you know, I didn't get many back from spring training at all. So that would have been my first return for March. Next up, we had Paul Wagner. I sent three of three to Paul Wagner. Next up was Johnny Ray. Sent three to Johnny Ray. Then I sent two to Hank Foyles. Now, I do not have anything such as baseballs, though I hope to send some out to certain people. But yeah, these are mostly all trading cards with some index cards and one photo for this month. All right, Jason Grilly. Jason Grilly was a $5 donation, $5 for each one. And it goes to a charity, so that's cool. And then Jose Lean was $1 per card, so I've just gotten to this habit of sending him five per. But when I got these five back, I did not send five again right away. I, in fact, I have yet to send five, so. You know, I'll get back into that. It's just that when the health situation hit, you know, I kind of took a break from sending to people. And I didn't really feel all that comfortable sending stuff away from the continental United States just because it's not really all that safe here, let alone who knows elsewhere. All right, next up is Paul Hornung. So uh, he used to sign for free TTM, and he would intentionally smudge them. Well, now with a $5 donation for each card, he puts down a nice autograph and doesn't smudge it. So, yeah, I knew I had a card of him, so I did that. And then one of one from Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat. That's cool how he added the Dragon inscription. All right, next up we got Parker Bone. Parker Bone the Third. So I believe I sent him three cards. And there's his autograph card, which I have pretty good success with that. Next up, Zane Smith. I can't remember if I sent three or four. Let's see. One, two, three. Yep, three. All right, so this one's pretty cool. I acquired this card at a card show on the cheap, and I just looked it up, and I saw that he was signing TTM. So, heck yeah, I sent him this, and kind of a bummer. He signed the I mean, this is this actually does not happen that often, but he signed the... That's my little note there. He did not sign the front. He signed the back. 
So I realize some people say that that happens a lot to them. It doesn't happen that often to me. I mean, maybe once every two months, once every bi-monthly video, I'll have one where that happens. So that's right. He even signed the index card, which was actually a different index card than the one I sent. So that's cool. That's actually really cool, actually, in my opinion. As a fan of baseball, I think that's really cool. All right. So that was appreciated. Bill Landrum, I believe I sent three. Nah, I sent four. Very good. All right. We got Don Schwal, former Rookie of the Year, signed both cards and added the Rookie of the Year inscription. All right. This next one, Craig T. Nelson. <laughs> took 70 days so he signed my autograph card with the football on it because he was the uh, you know when he played in the movie or the television show coach and of course since he's a very well-known actor I sent an a generic autograph card and he signed both of them so that was pretty cool all right now this next one I was going to do a whole separate video I have a return 10 of 10 with a $50 donation um, I'd Sent him a prior TTM asking, you know, if I, I said I purchased some real nice trading cards of his, if he'd be willing to sign all of them, I'd even donate, you know, so that he could donate to his charity, and he said he would. And it actually took a little while to get these back, <laughs> so I was kind of anticipating, you know, I was hoping he'd send it within a month, but it was in that one to two month range. It was, you know, less than 60 days, but in any case, at least I think it was less than 60 days. I didn't bother to research that one, but, uh. Yeah, I have 10 Walter Ray Williams Jr. cards. Like, this deserved its own separate video, but I have so much stuff backed up that even now that I'm doing twice a week, you know, maybe if I get bored or run out of stuff to talk about, I'll show this as a separate recap. So, this is pretty cool here. Um, number to 20, or number to 50 here, it's got a piece of his tape that he, he would have used for his thumb. Then I got another one. And another one. So then we have these relic cards, you know, where it says on the back it's one of his shirts. <laughs> so they're all, they all came out real nicely signed here. There's a dual relic. There's another one of those tape, thumb tape. And then these are from different sets. Those first, you know, five, six cards were all from the Goodwin Champions set. So there we go. It's a nice looking. That actually looks really nice with the blue marker with the blue j shirt. There we go. There's a purple shirt. And then back from whenever they made a 100 card bowling set. And a generic autograph card that's a Hall of Fame one. So I have another one of these. So that, you know, I need to check in to see maybe if Norm Duke or even Parker Bone again. But I'll wait to send it to him since I just sent it to him not too long ago. Pete Weber might still be, yeah, Petey Weber might still be doing TTM. I don't know. We'll see. All right, on to my last little stack here. So then I got three of three from golfer Curtis Strange. That's a nice looking autograph. And seriously, that's a nice auto. Spring training success, two of two from Pirates player Kevin Kramer. Then we got three of three back from Juan Gonzalez. That's pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of people have been sending him TTM, so the fact that he does reply back, that's pretty cool. All right, now Jerry Burns and Jay Caulfield. I did do a separate video for him just because they were so appreciative. You can feel free to check that out. Um, should be in my TTM playlist. But, yeah, Jerry Burns signed all three cards and an index card. And his daughter included a really nice typed note that apparently he, you know, he really does appreciate fan mail. Really does. So feel free to check out that other video. And Jay Caulfield. Now, Jay Caulfield took 74 days to get back. And not only did he sign my two cards, he also wrote a nice little note. Sorry for the delay in getting the cards back to you. Hope all is well. Take care. Jay Caulfield. He sent his own photo. He sent his own photo, paid for his own mailer and postage. That was so stinking nice. That just doesn't happen. 
I had no clue that was going to happen. That was just a really nice thing for him to do. All right. So, if, yeah, feel free to check out that video with the Jay Caulfield and the Jerry Burns. All right, we got Tommy Helms. I believe I sent three. And then Mike Easler did all three cards. And the third one's kind of cool because it was a 1981 All-Star Game card. And he didn't sign on the front because it's actually a pretty dark card. So he signed it on the back and included the inscription, 81 All-Star. I think that was his only All-Star year. And so on in his index card, which in the past, I believe he did this for me where he signed. The other time when I sent to him, I think he signed the index card and added his World Series inscription. But he also added his All-Star inscription, too. So that's pretty cool. And finally, to wrap up March, I have 4 of 4 from Bob Patterson. So, you know, what's my favorite one? That My favorite is definitely going to be all these Walter Ray Williams cards here. So, that may become a separate video at some point down the road. But in any case, that was my first of two videos for my bi-monthly autograph, re, you know, TTM recap. That was March. My next weekend, I'll do April. I just had to do it in the two videos because I had 124 autographs. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but between the two months, a total of 39 people. So I had somewhere, I sent, you know, four at a time. I, I send, I don't do that too often because I don't want to, but a lot of them do it. So that's great. A lot of them will sign it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite one was. And I'd appreciate if you also like my video and subscribe to my channel. Once every weekend I upload a video. And for the foreseeable future, I'll do once every Wednesday as well. Take care, everybody.